this video we're going to show you how to make this darling snow mom. She's a match for a snowman that we have and she's easy and fun and I think this video will help you. She's a dollar download on our website. Thanks. Now make your dimensional pieces by placing the Xerox of your piece on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sized together and thin polyester bonnet batting. And I didn't do it on the apron just because I didn't think it was necessary and of course on the I've used the white fleece for the snow person and they they don't need batting because the fleece is bulky enough and then I'm going to sew on the solid line and cut on the outside dash line and this uh, don't cut on the dash line for the body that's just a design line so just the outside dash line take your paper out and turn each of your components right side out and we'll show you how to put this little snow mother together and I'm turning her little feet start by at the toe turn the toe inside out and then put a blunt object through that part that's turned inside out and then push it up through the opening because it is a little bit narrow but you can do it okay and then make sure all of the pieces are out uh, pushed out against the seam and press it. Now like here that. we've hand gathered the opening of the bottom part of the apron and the top part of the apron. A machine basted them, you know, pulled the gathers, a machine basted them and centered them on the body of this little snow mom. Then we're going to take ribbon and cover up those stitches and tack that down for her little apron. Now I'll show you how to put the block together. Now, to begin paper piecing, I've placed my area one right side away on the unprinted paper beside of the Xerox copy of your pattern and it's covering more than area one. Then with this side up, I've machine basted where the feet go into the seam and the neck and that transfers it to this side. Then I'll place her boots up along that transferred line and zigzag those in place. Then the body, I'll place the neck a quarter of an inch above that basting. Put a piece of background fabric right side down just above that basted line or above the seam line so the bulk of the fabric is opposite where I'm going to cover. Then I turn it over and sew that whole line. Then I'll trim the extra out of the seam and then this folds up and covers area two. And then we'll show you the next step. Now we've added little straps, just fold them around the shoulder. After this is placed, then it's easier to see where the shoulder is. Then with this side up, we're gonna machine baste where the hat and the hat go into the seam. Now we'll transfer it to this side. Then we're gonna place the head, quarter of an inch past that line. You can hold it up to the light if you want it placed really well over the body and you know you can see the lines through the fabric then the hat brim and then the hat crown then pin all that so it won't move because it's kind of thick and then you're going to place the background fabric across that um, line as well so it's above the basting line so the bulk of the fabric is opposite where you're going to cover then turn it over and sew that whole line her little head is tilted. It's really cute. We'll show you what that looks Our like. Snow Mom is finished. We've whip stitched sticks behind her body, embellished her hat, tacked down the top of the hat, put seed beads and a little pom pom for her nose, and tacked down her head, and she just comes out darling. I hope you enjoy this and come visit us for uh, this little dollar download. Thanks for watching.